give you a guess who won. It was not me. Hello and welcome to NPCs of Something, reviewing the level 20 Battle Royale on this week's Critical Role with myself, Oliver Dungeon Master, and Dave. It's lovely to see you here <laughs> in our little corner of the Cybersphere. <laughs> um, he was just talking about how he was amping himself up, and yeah. I just want to bring it down. <laughs> Essentially, the before, before these videos, I kind of, you know, do, do a bit of that to get myself that and He's never done that before as well. <laughs> <laughs> I know he says that like he does it every time. Nope, I've been here every single time. <laughs> you haven't done that. <laughs> Any hurting the blowfish, yeah. welcome along to our little corner of the cybersphere yeah. to talk about episode, um, uh, yeah, the level 20 Battle Royale, yes. which is something we've wanted to see for a long time. Yes, so they've been talking it up for a while, and uh, funny enough, it was the last game that we're going to play for the year. Yep, it's pretty much the last thing we get to see of Vox Machina on Geek and Sundry um, for now. Obviously, there's still the Vox Machina Origin comic and stuff. Um, and they, might, they might do a, another Battle Royale yeah. later with everyone actually there. Yeah, because yeah. Vex and Ashley couldn't make it. Um, I used a character name and a real name there. Vex was, was, oh sorry, Laura, hmm. was being nominated for an award. Yeah, so and, that's fair enough. And Ashley's always working because she's actually the famous one. Do you know what I heard about um, what Tiberius is up to? What? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you did that. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's called physical... What? Come on. Um, sorry, uh, for, I think it's like $2,700, you can go and play Dungeons & Dragons with Orion Akaba in France in a castle. Yeah, I saw that. Isn't that cool? Mm. I, I, did, I, if I hadn't just bought tickets... He's also on Twitch a lot. Yeah. You can watch him on Twitch. And he liked my comment on his Facebook post. God. Um, now... He you... liked everyone's comment. <laughs> it's <laughs> true, but it still gets my... Still the sense. Um, if you watched our very last video, uh, mm. we did a prediction where we kind of picked teams or rolled for teams uh, for the Battle Royale. Yeah. And we got, had a bit of a bet going. Now, now for the record... No, I picked. For the record... No, because Keyless was my favourite. We agreed so a long time ago... <laughs> Before anything was uncertain, that we'll just we'll go for our top characters that yeah. we said in our wrap up video. Yes. Our number one characters will automatically get because we'll automatically go for them first anyway. Yeah. So you were given Keyleth by default. Because I, and I was given you. Vex by default. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, at the start of this, when Vex was just completely hidden for most of it, just doing mm. stuff in the shadows, I honestly thought, oh my god, there's no way I can win this. Now, now, just to bridge everything, when we talk about battling. Yeah, it's very hard to to talk about it without going for a play by play like we do in a plot summary. So yeah. this one's going to be very all over the place. We'll basically give a brief line now of what happened, and then we kind of will just go all over the place and talking about it. Yeah. So battle started. It was um, instigated by um, Col Matt Colville, yeah. um, who writes the comic. Yeah, um, and the, the map map picked out was going to decrease over time the the the. The area that they could go and go get small and yeah. small. It was a beautiful time. Dwarven Forge map with some really cool air actions. Mm. And if anyone's played Player Unknown, that game, how the, the, the area of the field gets smaller kind of forces them together, I think that was the kind of the idea behind it, to mm. kind of force the players to get close to each other. But by the end, it was kind of like the, the environment was more of the, 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 the factor than the actual players themselves. Yeah. So essentially, Matt threw in some real cool stuff. There were orbs that did different things, there was a green light. That if you started your turn within the green light, you regain 20 hit points, which mm. is quite cool. And there was like locked chests and lots of rooms and stuff and, and rivers. And some of the orbs even affected the rivers. Mm. So it, it's really a you know, testament to Matt knowing how to build an arena mm. for a battle royale. Um, it's also worth noting, d d is not supposed to be a PvP game. No, it's, it's supposed PvE. to be a PvE. Yeah. Um, so doing it in a battle royale, it's not balanced. Mm. Because it's not intended to play that way. Yeah. So for everyone complaining... That's just the way D&D &D is. It's, it's yep. not situated. There are probably are rule sets out there for PvP specific things. Mm. But the, the the way these characters were built, the way these characters are, it's not PvP. It's also not the player's fault that a druid can wild shape as a bonus action freely uh, as at level 20. And regain the hit points. But anyway, we'll go through who, who <laughs> yeah. got eliminated first. Yeah. And we'll pop up with the faces as we go through with X's of when they got eliminated. So right now, all the faces will pop up. And I'm doing this because he's editing. <laughs> so this is the challenge <laughs> room. Uh, we'll pop up with all five of them there. Yep. Um, but the first one to be eliminated was Grog. Yes. Slash Grog. So this is the point you go X on Grog. Yeah. 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 I, oh, can I handle that? Oh, yeah. I don't know. We're going to find out. <laughs> you 
you, know, you watching would have found out whether you could handle it or yeah, not. Yeah, I've had to say this in post, but yeah. Or it would just be an insult of me. Yeah. On the team, <laughs> like, shut up, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> That's easier to do, really. Um, I Rob, do that, Rob the Barbarian, you do, actually. Mm. I've seen some of your edits that I you know. don't tell me about, <laughs> and then I watch them, like, days later. Well, it just makes you watch them. That's true. Mm. Um, so, Grog the Goliath Barbarian, first to fall. Mm. Um, he was, it was... He was upset about it. I think. He didn't say another word. <laughs> Travis didn't show. say anything. He was on his phone down, but I felt real bad because really out of out of the players that they had, I mean Pike and and Vex are more kind of physical melee damage dealers. Right. So he would have had more of a chance of getting in combat with them than the others. Yep. Because Percy's range, Keyless's range, Scalin's Well Keyless's range and DPS. Yeah. Well, range and DPS this isn't the same thing? Range and DPS. Oh, DPS. Is that DPS? Yeah, damage. Just mean physical. Yeah, that's DPS what, is like damage, so you can be DPS is melee, and ranged DPS is is ranged. Yeah, and yeah. Well, I was just saying range. DPS is just confusing. Don't use wow <laughs> terminology. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> DPS no. is kind of like does a lot of damage. All of them can do damage, damage per second. Yeah. Yeah. So like your yeah, range, just meaning away from them. Yeah. Just, they, that terminology. Range DPS, yes. Yes, that's, yes, that's technically that is you're right. Yeah, that's what they call it. But it's like, like yeah, whatever. Continue. Use the right terminology. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm just being. Any hoodie in the blowfish. Continue. Yeah, anyway, so um, Keyleth, um, Percy, um, Scanlan um, were all kind of range dealers. Yep. And Vex kind of hid in the shadows. Yeah, in fact, he was moving around the map by texting Matt Mercer. Uh, from behind the damn screen, so no one could actually knew, know where he so was. So Grog was kind of shafted. Yeah, a little bit. Um, and he tried to do moves like he tried to jump on Keyless, um e- e- elemental form, mm-hmm. hoping to grapple it, doesn't work. It's, he couldn't do anything. And then yeah. eventually he just got <laughs> from from Banished. the plane of existence to a different plane. Was he different? Well, I, I think ban- actually, I think Banishment is a spell that sends them to another plane for a, a period of time. Oh. And they come back. So uh, whatever ninth level ridiculousness was cast, I actually missed that bit. It would have um, been for a long time. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He was whew, out of that plane of existence. He's out of the combat. Yeah, um, and that was... Uh, I mean, that happened in the last battle as well. That, that attempt to happen by Keyleth failed. Just, she attempted that a lot. Yeah, last one. and it failed. And it failed and failed. But I think Grog, by that point, he couldn't do anything. Yeah, um, the the setup was not working for someone that is essentially a tank that can only do uh, melee. Mm. Unfortunate. But if you play Overwatch, the best way to defeat a tank, just don't get near them. Yeah. Take out the healers first. Yeah. Um, so anyway, Grog falls. Yes. Yes. Um, and so after Grog and Travis just being silent the entire time, mm. um, Better Gods kind of goes on a little bit longer, and the next to fall is Scanlan. Yes, Scanlan Shorthold, the known bard. Mm. So Sc- Scanlan was... Um, hmm. It felt like he didn't didn't do everything he wanted to do. Yeah. He, he, there was a lot more in the tank, and he kind of was taken out pretty quickly. Someone did ask, why doesn't he just use Wish? He just Wish, I wish to win the Battle Royale. Uh, obviously, that would just Break defeat it. the purpose. Yeah, yeah. or we could have wished, like... Because he did use that um, Feeble Mind. Yeah, he used Keyleth. Wish to, inf- uh, to uh, inflict Feeble Mind on Keyleth, and mm. it succeeded. Uh, even though it was a Wish spell, they still had a role for it. Mm. And, yeah, fin- uh, Feeble Mind, if you know of it, it's brutal. Uh, you can't do ability checks. You can't move, really. You can't talk. You can't take any actions mm. until it ends. You're just a jello, basically. Yeah, but with Killith, it didn't really have too much of a fix. Well, she was gone for about three rounds, and then she managed to make the save. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Scanlan kind of got knocked out in a very kind of unceremoniously kind of... It was just a limited. Another cross. Oof. Yeah. Scanlan falls. Um, and then we got... Because um, so this whole time, Vax... Hmm. Um, he's been texting moves to Matt Mercer yep. by text. And so, occasionally will be seen by a player just running away or mm, darting into the show. Which makes sense. I know a lot of people complain about this, hmm. but it makes sense because if you're in a PvP environment, you're fighting each other, you can't let... If you're stealth as well, you can't let the other team know. Because if you're fighting, yeah. playing against minions, the minions don't know where you're going. Yeah. If stealth is your weapon... Then this is the only way to be able to do that feeling. Mm. And I know it slows down the game, but I think it's just a case of I, th- I think Matt and Vex, can't, oh, Matt and Liam mm. came up with certain language or certain phrases to make things a bit easier and yep. quicker. It still slows down the game, um, but it was kind of what necessary. Else can, what else can you do? Really? Yeah, yeah, it was kind of something that happened, and he did well. But the minute that kind of they worked out where he was, he didn't last no. too long, and then Vex was the next one <laughs> out. Yeah. Which means we are down to Percy, Keyleth, and that's it. 
Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you didn't say and in between. It's like, you would end Matt. You were, sir. It's the end. I was going to like, there's other players. And I was like, wait, no, they're not yeah. here. So basically by this point, the, 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 as I said at the beginning, the um, battlefield had been going down smaller in size. Mm-hmm. And by this point, No Mercy, Percy, and Keyleth was last. And it was pretty clear at this point who was going to win, mainly because of the wild shape. Yes. Um, now, the wild shape at level 20, because generally as a druid, uh, you get two. Two per long rest or short rest of your circle of the moon. Which is fair, you know, that's cool. Um, But the notable thing is, once you wild shape into a creature, that has different hit points than you do. You gain their hit points. And once that's gone, you revert to your form. Obviously take any, say, trample damage, for those of you who play MTG. But then if you wild shape again, boom, you've just got another whole set of hit points. Mm. So at level 20, a druid is really powerful, because if they get back to their form and don't get killed, woof, they can wild shape, they gain And it's points. unlimited, right? They it is unlimited at uh, this level, yeah. So basically every time they get down, just wild shape again. So you yeah. have to technically, to take out a druid, you have to kill them one round. Yeah. And that was never going to happen. Yeah, or cast some kind of spell that uh, uh, that stops them from being able to wild shape. Um, which kind of wants... Scanlan went out because yeah. Scanlan really is the only other magic user in, in the group that was that was left. there. Yeah, um, yeah, that actually, yeah. that's very true. Yeah. So it's it, and again, uh, people gave Marisha hate for this. It's not her fault. She did not design yeah, the druid. So, so, so just to build some <laughs> context around that. Um, actually, no. We'll finish off with Percy yeah. died as well. Um, and the victor. He got crushed um, against like when it was closing more. Yeah. The force damage <laughs> kind of crushed him. And then the victor was Keyleth. Kiki, my girl. Yeah, which she got a, a lot of hate. Which, come on, guys, we are the critter community. We are a community of support. Uh, we come from different walks of life. We celebrate the fact that we're here, we're nerds, we like D&D. We're better than this, guys. We're better than this. No, we're not. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what I mean by that is that it's okay to be critical. Yes. Being critical is good. Yes. Um, I'm critical on Ollie, and Ollie is critical on me. But there's a lot of love there. <laughs> but but at the end of the day we want the best for each other yes. I mean we say certain things and mainly I come across worse than I actually intend he often threatens to shit in my bed yeah but that's more out of love <laughs> as you say <laughs> um, but we do it constructively we're not we're not we don't hate on each other if you know anything about D&D going into this battle royale you know you know the druid was Pretty, you know, something yeah. special would have had to happen for the druid not to win. Yeah. Um, mainly because of that wild shape thing. If you take that element out of it, the wild shape thing, mm-hmm. and maybe even just limit it by yeah. a few spell slots, Remem- you could have had a very different fight. Also, remember this. Level 20, they are basically gods at this point. You, you get to... No, I mean, like, literally in the <laughs> lore... That's the what this battlefield needed. A cliff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and needed a cliff. More doors and a cliff. That yes. would have sounded real thing. With a gym down there, and everyone's like, Kill uh, don't jump, jump the cliff. and goldfish. Yeah. And I mean, Keyleth has died because of her own stupidity. Yes. Uh, but yeah, level 20, they are gods at this point. So saying, oh, it's unfair. Well, you know... Celestial Kingdoms. It's it's. She's it's, an arch druid, and also the arch druid, and she also did not design the druid. If you want to send some hate, Wizards of the Coast. I mean, I love them, but maybe there's an email or something. No, no, uh, they, or just don't. Maybe. I think what they need to do is build separate PvP rules. Yeah, yeah. Um, for level max level characters, but that that's gonna like satisfy. And there's probably some homebrew stuff out there or something yeah. we've missed. Um, but that's gonna that's gonna offer a solution to a very very small portion of. These, these kind of things don't always happen. Yeah. Um, Battle Royales. And we're lucky that um, we we had watch a show that does do that. Yeah. And it was... It, it, it's disappointing to hear how much hate, but I think criticism is good. Mm. I think that will help people going forward and so people watch this game and realise, okay, things didn't work, it didn't feel very fair. But you guys, like some people out there just throwing a lot of ugliness towards Mauritius for this. So uncool. I think you guys would have hated it more if she didn't play to her character's abilities. Yeah. If she exactly. deliberately didn't use X, Y, or Z. Yeah. You'd just be to make pissed off. Yeah, just to make it's 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 the crux of the fact you can't make everyone happy all the time, but it's also yeah. the crux of you decide what kind of person you are in life and at this point you can decide to be nice about these kind of things rather than send a player mm. hate who does not deserve it for they had very little to do she, with the fact that she played two or three. Yeah. And she won. 
yeah, and that's what it was for. And remember, this is a game that we're playing here, and it's for fun, it's for our enjoyment, because I have nothing else to do on Friday afternoons, or Thursday for you guys. Um, so we we love the critic community, mostly, because you guys are amazing people. Um, I watch the Facebook posts constantly on the, on the fan pages. You guys really do support each other out there. It's awesome. Um, mm, I've seen countless posts of people being down. So definitely be critical over the, what happens, but don't don't kind of blame. No, I don't, no. That was got nothing to do with Marisha. I think, yeah. I think she was near the end kind of battling knew which way this was going to go. Mm. A lot of people do say that she did metagame a bit. Yeah. But I honestly think that all the players at one point would have meta games because yeah. of the scenario. Yeah. Um, I mean, Vax technically, if you're behind it, like if you're stealth and being very secretive and hiding, you wouldn't be able to see the other players moving around. But yeah, yeah, he, know, yeah. he knows those actions are taking place. And yeah. You can't just block that out of your mind. Yeah, me meta gaming. It's, it's a really tricky thing to do. Yeah. And the, this episode was 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 just for fun. It was just, you know, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter too much about you know. If someone made yeah. a game a little bit, I, it's, it's not important. But the important thing to remember what is that? about this level 20 battle royale, oh, yeah? I think the thing we're all forgetting oh, what? is that you have to eat a hot chili pepper that I designed because my girl Marisha took it out. Uh, chick, uh, kiki, kick your ass. Uh, uh, uh. I, I, was, I thought to myself, we're gonna bust out some We're going to have a discussion where Dave bums you out. <laughs> because, Ollie. You were not 100% confident you were going to win. Is that fair to say? Yeah. And what did you ask me to make sure that the cherry <laughs> was, wasn't? Yeah, I made sure that you, you brought a goddamn jalapeno and not a Caroline Reaper, Scorpion Trinidad, or the, the this chili, which so, I think well, is a well, fair. All I didn't know is that I, want, I, I have a beef jerky business that I do on the side. It's very yeah. low, it's not huge. It's delicious. And once we made a California Reaper jerky. Yeah. And I was going to give you that. Oh. <laughs> no, there was a dude online that burned a hole in his esophagus. Only because he ate a, like a straight chili pepper. This is like a mixed brew for people to eat. No, man. I mean, I did, I've did. i done pizza roulette. Uh, we have a thing here. In I, I said, hit me with ever. <laughs> he <laughs> sent me a text. I can't remember uh, uh, when this was. It was a it was, Facebook message. It was a Facebook message. <laughs> it was like late at night. It's like, can you, can you make sure it's not a <laughs> I did not do it like that. I was like, hey, that's how it sounded when I read it. <laughs> Is that my voice in your head when you read it? <laughs> that's what, every day you complain about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start doing that. It's like for from you. the peanuts. Every you, you, know, you know peanuts? The, oh, the cartoon. The cartoon yeah. where the parents <laughs> talk. It's like, <laughs> 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 well, now every time you complain about me editing or like I, I, I screw up, I put the wrong thing. I'm gonna just start doing that with your. I voice still voice. listen to you though, because <laughs> otherwise, I because I, I wouldn't have actually done it if you asked me not to. Do it. Which is good because I. You know, we're, there's a thing, we have a, a pizza place here, and they've got a thing called Pizza Roulette. It's house pizza. Yeah. A plug, just in case they want to sponsor it and get free pizza. <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad idea. In fact, Dave, don't you love the quality of the pizzas? Not only in the fact that the vegetables are precious, but their flavour combinations are second to none. No, sometimes I remember getting a pizza and it was all smushed to one side. Yeah. That was really gutting, because the guy who was transporting it kind of like, <laughs> but in, in the car is just... But yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> the last deluxe, man. That's a serious. That's a venison pizza. That's yeah, a damn nice. It's got venison on it. But they have a thing called pizza roulette, where if you say yes, we want pizza roulette, they will put the hottest hot sauce that they can find underneath one slice at random, which is fantastic. Um, it's great. Yeah. I mean, um, I mean, when I got one first slice. Of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And once you get past that, I remember enjoy once the, rest of it. the first time we did it, we got to the last slice, and we actually called up the pizza place and said, "Hey, you've got to put the thing." And they were like, no, we definitely put it. And like, I turn around, I see my friend just... Because <coughs> <coughs> he's taking a bite of this last mm. slice. Um, yeah, so anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, that, that, that's the Battle about. Royale, the last game of the year for Critical Role. Yep. Um, I, I enjoyed it still. Yeah. Um, I, if I was to be critical, wasn't 100% satisfying for me. Um, I, I feel like there could have been a bit more story element to it. I feel like it wasn't the final Battle Royale, mainly because not everyone was there. Yeah, yeah. I feel that was a little bit of missing there. Mm. Um, I don't know whether they'll ever do one with everyone there. Yeah. They didn't state that this was the last time they ever would play these characters, because mm -hmm. you would have thought that they would have made a big deal how this is the last time they were ever going to yeah, literally yeah. play their characters. Um, I do believe they mentioned it. One of the players mentioned it in passing, uh, but um, yeah, like you say, they didn't. They didn't make a big point of it. Mm, yeah. So I don't know whether they're planning something. Um, we'll see. But we'll see. I, I enjoyed it re regardless. Yeah. Um, it's the fourth and final battle royale mm -hmm. of Vox Machina. And just remember, dudes out there in the critic community, be cool to each other because we are pretty awesome people. The fact that we're into D and D at all makes us cooler than most. Yeah, I mean, virgins stay together. 
<laughs> I'm editing that. Yeah, um, so <laughs> essentially, that that's us uh, for this episode. Um, the next video we release will be him eating the ridiculous chili. Uh, no, no, it'll be attached to the end of this video. Oh, okay. We're just gonna edit that. Okay, sweet. Yeah. It okay, so we'll, yeah, but it does make sense. All right. Well, uh, you're editing. I am editing. It's, it's, it's fine. Um, so what? Right now, we're gonna go out to. Saw that. Right I'm now. Sure <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. So right now, uh, we're we'll turning off the camera. We're going to the supermarket. We're going to buy some chilies. I've already got chili sauce and stuff. We're going to throw it together, and then through the power of editing, you'll see that challenge. Uh, so do we want to do the rap like the goodbye at the end of the chili video? Oh, so we'll do the goodbye. Yeah. Okay. Because well, thanks. So much. Because we're just buried, bad filming or like YouTubers, <laughs> so we just do it. Yeah. Okay, that works yeah. then. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming along and uh, listening to us talk about uh, Critical Role Battle Royale Level Twenty. Uh, beaming out of Wellington, New Zealand, my bedroom. Um, we'll have, oh, there's one more video to come this year. Mm -hmm. um, that's the final, final wrap up, um, which they pre recorded, um, yeah. which is next week. He's going to be away, mm -hmm. so we'll do it when he gets back. So the next week, you you won't have the uh, NPCs at the regular time. Mm -hmm. We'll do it when he gets back, which yeah. is when? The 28th of December. <laughs> <laughs> a while away <laughs> um, uh, but yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll do a final one and then we'll see you in the new year um, to start the new Vox Machina campaign and not Vox Machina the Critical Role Critical campaign, campaign uh, which means that NPCs of Taldore is now going to become NPCs of Wildmount Wildemount I honestly cannot say the word now without thinking Wildemount mm. and we're not going to be putting out any more um, catch up episodes for the rest of the year as well mm -hmm. um, I think it's, we need a break we just did 10 in a row yeah, oh, not 10 or the 7 or we've, seven we've been doing like videos 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 mm. but I think, I think this is we're going to take a break after yeah. next week um, and but we'll come back in the new year we're back in the new year I've already started writing for the next story arc for our live stream games mm. and I'm working on a few videos and we will come up with a better re release schedule too yeah so thanks for supporting uh Stick around to watch him eating a pepper. And um, thanks for supporting us. If you want to subscribe, if we hit 200 by the end of the year, I'm releasing a special video of all the NPCs, gags that we do, the little bits that we do at the start of each episode for our own amusement and yours. And if we don't come back, it's because there's a gas leak in store. Yeah, so thanks Did very much. Did you know about that? Yeah. Did you actually? No. Know? All right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper's time. Yeah. Oh, should we, do, should we do a tour of Dave's room while we're down? No, it's not going to do a tour. <laughs> my room's a mess. I mean, that's the good thing about how we film in my room, because the camera just points to the wall, and the wall is... Generally... We film in your room because we don't have real alternatives. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Plus, I don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, true. There we go. Alright. Okay, so we just got back from the supermarket, which is just across the road, likely. Um, I, I essentially said to Dave, hey, why don't we try this uh, Thai chili sauce? It's pretty hot, I use it for chili. And he's like, well, no, that's not hot enough. And I was like, alright, okay, what about sriracha? That's pretty hot. He's like, no, that's not hot enough. So, the madman <laughs> has got Carolina Reaper chili sauce, which it says on it there, number 10, insane heat. Yeah, authenticity! So, I mean, this is odd. This is, this is the face of glee knowing that I don't have to do this challenge because that's insane. Um, if anyone wants to check out the Caroline Reaper, it is, I do believe, a thousand times hotter than a jalapeno. It's 1.2, I think, million on the Scoville scale. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty damn hot. And there's a lot of videos out there of people just eating it raw. Yeah, so. uh, eating a chili pepper and hallucinating and shaking, so. Yeah! <laughs> I'm excited! Anyway, uh, let's get into this. I'm going to create right. my concoction. Alright. Um, so we start with, yeah, some fresh pillies. Fresh pillies? Chilies. Chilies is the word I was going for there. So let's open up. God, it words. <laughs> thank God you're not an entertainer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank God I don't do constant shows everywhere. Yeah. Um, right. I'm shaking a little bit, sorry. <laughs> it's right. Is there, would you like to choose one of the three? Uh, that one. That one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't even know the one point did it. So what we're going to do is we're going to coat this in some Thai chili sauce so that everything else kind of sticks to it a little bit. 
Uh, this is uh, my favourite. This is what I use in uh, my chilli. That well, actually, Dave was the one that taught me the recipe, um, but mm. I decided to add uh, Thai chilli sauce. I, t- I taught him how to cook. <laughs> you showed me one meal. I've been doing fine before that. Um, <laughs> So you say. <laughs> okay, so once I was hospitalized for malnutrition after eating nothing but fish and chips for an entire month, but let's not get into that. You're the one that brought it up. It's I mean, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, let's just, okay, get a shot of this, because we're yeah. like, we're coating this, so stuff sticks to it. All right, there we go. That's looking good. Mm. That but good. you're facing the, the, the oh, bowl away from the camera. It's like, get a shot of this, you're not going to look at it. <laughs> okay. Um, Hello. I, all right. think, I think we'll add the chili. I want to add this last, because it's just insane. All right. Um, all right. Thank you, Jason, for unknowingly giving us your own chili powder. Um, he oh. still doesn't know by this point, but... <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell him when he gets home. Yeah. I'm sure he won't mind. He's a great guy. Um, he's our other flatmate, who you may have seen or heard like walking down the stairs while we do... While we do um, We're going to get him on the podcast eventually. It's yeah, just... at some point. He works mad hours. I can't yeah. get this damn thing open. Do you want me to do it? Yeah, you. you no, I'll, I'll take the cap. You open that. I mean, it's, you, it's, it's you're the madness that's doing this thing. Madness, this is Sparta. <laughs> this is Sparta. Uh, yeah. Alright, okay, cool. All right, I'll give you the camera back. Alright, thank you. Teamwork here at the D20 Multi Oh, this is the one chili on your camera. That's what we're all about. Alright, um, okay, I think that should be good. Now for the piece de resistance. <laughs> You're gonna add more. Holy cow. This is just not going to end well, I think. Uh, uh, do you want me to open it? No, too? I can do this. <laughs> okay. Stop. Am I allowed to swear? Uh, well, you're editing, and you can bleep it out if you want. Do you, do you want me to do that, Ollie? <laughs> do you want me to open that? No, it's fine. Do you want me to open it? No, that? it's about it's about to be opened. In fact. Okay, let's let's watch closely. <laughs> it's about to work. See, it's like it's nearly open. It's, it's, it's right on the, it's nearly... It's I think the right chili's getting gold. <laughs> I got it, wait. I nearly had it. Then you distracted me with your talking. I'm shaking a little bit. Well, it's fair enough. You're about to eat this. No, it's just my hands have aged so much since you started opening this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting tons of this in. Alright, I need a knife. Do you want me to open no, it? No, it's fine. I can do it. Okay, you're going to have to open this. No. <laughs> okay, fine. you got to open it. Yeah. Harder than it looks, eh? <laughs> Okay, I'll... This is why really you need more chili in your life. <laughs> you can open things. I'm going to smell this. I'm not going to taste it. Can I smell it? Oh, That's like God. pure vinegar. Oh, Ooh. All right. So, uh, um, Caroline... Rico. My mouth is actually sort of salivating. Mine is too. Mm. And I'm, I'm, yeah, terrified. Okay, I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to put too much of this. Because it is, it's ridiculous. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Alright. That was a, little, a lot more than I thought you'd do. <laughs> Didn't mean to. I was going to pour in more, but I don't think I need to anymore. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. We have more chili powder on that. Okay. Stir it up. Stir it up. Go nuts. I'm not going to die, Oliver. <laughs> if I am, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. This is Get in entirely, there. This is entirely your idea. Okay. It's looking pretty coated, man. It's looking pretty coated. Mm. Alright. Uh, so I would just like to have a disclaimer. If Dave dies, this is, uh, the D20 Multiverse is not responsible for one. I am not responsible for, this was his idea. He picked out the source. Can we just agree to that on camera? I'm completely non-liable. <laughs> Close enough. I'm no, sure. I am not saying that you're not liable. Okay, no jury in the world will convict me. Alright. Well, I... I sp- where do you want to do it? Do you want to sit down? With next How do you want to do this? How do you want to do this? Exactly right. Alright, you take the camera. Okay. Alright. Alright, so let's stir this up first. I stirred it pretty good. Stir it up, stir it up. Oh, I'm going to say you don't have to eat the whole thing. I'm going to eat the whole thing. Because it... I'm going to say I'm going to eat the whole thing. I don't know about Yeah, I don't know if you can. Man, okay. No, we'll do I'm nervous for you. What we're going to do... But, oh, um, we're going to get... Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to get a cup. Okay. So. Well, which one? Would you like Sonic or Ninja Turtles? I think Ninja Turtles is appropriate for this. You're a bit of a hero right now. <laughs> Feel already. This is such oh. a bad idea. Right. I love this. I love making content right. when I don't have to do the eating. I can feel this is going to be rough. All right, so we'll put the lids put on. The, and let's bury that so that it can never come back. Oh, put it on my shelf. <laughs> As a constant reminder of the, the mistake that's about to happen. Yeah. This is All ridiculous. Right. Okay. I'm just going to get a shot. Mm. Oh, man, that is thick. All right. Uh, may God have mercy on your soul. Alright, here we go. 
Tame Kalith. Tame Kalith. The Arch Druid for the win. He's going for more. Going for more. I can see him sweating. <laughs> okay. Yep. It's going a little red. Okay, alright. Shot off. Wait, no, i got to keep on you, because otherwise people think you're going to spit it out. Yep, how's that? Is that is that pretty intense? He can't talk, for one. It's good. Didn't we once agree that we were never going to be the YouTubers that did an eating challenge, and yet here we are? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is like one of the rare moments where he ha he has nothing to say. This um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus, man, you are sweating. You're glistening. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> The milk is there, man. The milk is there. How long can you hold out is the question. It's like watching Spyro the Dragon breathe fire. I ate it. You did. Your I eyes. Taken any milk. Your eyes are going red. I can feel them going red. <laughs> There's still a lot of sauce and I'm tempted. No. 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 That was good. Team Keyless for the win. Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, alright, he's into the milk, which is fair enough. He made it like a, a minute or two. That's pretty good. <laughs> Don't touch your eyes with the hands you touch the chili with. No! Just did! We actually bought, yeah, it's a whole thing of milk, yeah. We bought a whole thing of milk. That's what milk looks like in New Zealand, by the way. <laughs> he's just showing off now. It is as hot as it seems. <laughs> he says, barely able to speak. <sighs> Can I catch one again? No, I'm closer. crying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. We've it. Okay. All right. Uh, um, so, thank you very much for joining us on this special episode of, uh, N of NPCs of something. Reviewing the level 20 Battle Royale. Um, I just want to say one thing. Thank you, Keyleth. Uh, Thank you, Keyleth, for saving my ass on this one, uh, so that I feel like <laughs> so that I did not have to end up with this. Uh, I'm I'm gonna put the camera down because uh, I want to enjoy this moment and uh, watch Dave boil alive. Uh, his brain starts pouring out his ears and his heart explodes. That's going to be really I've fun. I've got milk in my hands, Ollie. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Uh, we are uh, yeah, still putting out content and remember to join us in the new year when our D&D live streams kick up again and for myself, Oliver Dungeon Master and Dave. <laughs> thanks very much. You good? No. You don't look good. <sighs>